Honorable uh, Minister David Jacobet, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Delegates, please allow me, first of all, to thank uh, Minister David Jacobet and his government for hosting <coughs> this summit. I'd also like to express my gratitude and my thanks to the organizers, African Brains. I will present to you the investment of ICT for education in Rwanda. Uh, first of all, the background. Rwanda has a vision. That was uh, uh, defined in 2001. One want to develop our country into a middle-income society by 2020. Also, we want to transform our country from a subsistence agriculture-based society to a knowledge-based and technology-led economy by 2020. To do this, we have, uh, we have ICT as a cross-cutting <coughs> sector to support all, all areas of development, and we have defined this policy in 2000. Uh, of course, we have also the ICT in education policy, to do, uh, we, to do this, we have a four, five-year uh, rolling national information and communication infrastructure plans, uh, which are extended to over 20 years of the Rwanda Vision 2020. The major objectives of ICT in education, we have different pillars in ICT, but my focus will be on ICT in education only. First of all, we want to be able to create, to develop a high quality skills or a knowledge base. We want to improve the quality of education, ICT for enhancing the quality of education. We want also to increase the access of education and equity using particularly open distance and e-learning. Our high learning institutions create knowledge our kids create knowledge in schools. We want to share knowledge, to transfer knowledge, scientific publication, share research findings. Uh, the focus of NIKI, National Information Communication Infrastructure Plan, we are now at the level three, the NIKI Plan three. The first two NIKI plans focused very much on infrastructure. Now we are mainly focusing on skills development in uh, education and uh, service oriented, oriented products and business, doing business with ICT. So I'm now talking about what we are doing today. The first project is ICT professional certification programs, of course, to develop a competent and relevant ICT professional base in all areas software development, uh, hardware development, and support, and so forth. Second project is SchoolNet. We have infrastructure in schools. We have the training of teachers to use ICT for increasing the penetration and usage of ICT in 12-year basic education. In Rwanda, all kids are allowed for free to study up to nine-year basic education and then for those who want to go in technical vocation training, in education, in ICT-oriented fields, they can go up to 12-year basic education for free. As for training for teachers, you know, if you want to implement ICT in schools, the key players are the teachers. And teachers cannot uh, give what they don't have. So we need them to have these characteristics to be able to use ICT for teaching and learning. So we train them, we build their capacity in using ICT. The fourth project is Rwanda Education and Research Network, RedNet, uh, which uh, is mainly focused in higher learning institutions. So we want to enhance teaching and learning and doing research, sharing knowledge through ICT in education. For example, we have with the fiber optic cable, I will come back to this, connecting all higher learning institutions. One more uh, impo important idea is that in Rwanda, all 
public hiring institutions will merge, starting from July, the July this year, to become one state university. So it will be very easier to use ICT to share knowledge, to, um, to teach from one university, one competent teachers from one, one it will be not uh, one, uh, different universities, one university, one uh, campus teaching other students from other locations. We are also focusing on open distance and e-learning to increase access to education. Uh, Rwanda is one of the most really populated uh, country in Africa, and we cannot reach everybody to cannot allocate, uh, accommodate all of them in schools. So we need really, we are, and we have started using ICT uh, to teach them at distance. We have another project, very important project, Digital Library. This is the National Digital Library to, to increase access to scientific publication, to educational <coughs> is, uh, institutions, and the public, the general public, uh, mainly for non-profit organization, can get access to the uh, materials that I will present you very soon. So those are the six projects we are focusing on today. And when I talk about uh, ICT uh, for teachers, ICT training for teachers, I mean that all these projects have that component of training of teachers. So they are interrelated projects. This is the infrastructure in Rwanda, the national backbone network. You can see that Rwanda is connected everywhere in all districts. We have 30 districts in Rwanda, and we have the fiber optic cable connecting all districts with the internet. So you can see that really we have improved very much in terms of access to internet in different areas in Rwanda. And the schools connected <coughs> in different areas, some of them have been already connected to the fiber optic. Mainly all higher institutions, public higher institutions have been connected. And we are also trying a solution of wireless, to use wireless to connect different schools. Uh, all of them have not yet been uh, connected, but this is a big step and the infrastructure is there, so we need really now to move towards uh, service orientation. Uh, other achievements, we have a big project, one laptop per child. In the one that we have opted that all primary school kids should have a computer, all of them. And where are we now? We have now 75,000 old pieces <coughs> deployed in 138 schools. 35 are now in Rwanda, 35,000 old pieces in Rwanda are in the process of deployment. And the Rwanda have, has ordered 100,000 computers now for also school kids. So this project is mainly funded by the government of Rwanda. And uh, it's really, it, can, it has started showing some improvement in terms of using technology in the Rwandan schools. We have also servers, uh, server networks installed in the schools with education materials, uh, especially science and technology, mathematics and English. Uh, uh, we, by the time we use also, as we have a lot of old pieces in schools, we should also have uh, teachers who are able to maintain them. So 1,500 1, uh, teachers have been trained to maintain these computers. So uh, we have also another project which is very, which is coming very soon, is to have an old PC assembly plant in Rwanda. Of course the negotiation is still going on, but it is promising that we have a plant of old PC in Rwanda. So these are some pictures of old PC in schools when it, it was uh, it was only 2009 in some of the schools. So, uh, as I said, we have nine year basic education, 20 year basic education. What we do, we don't have only this one-to-one -one computer to students, but we have also computer lab solutions. In some schools, we use computer labs so that all kids can get exposure to the new technologies. For example, 1,278 computers distributed in schools, those nine year and 12 year basic education. 
3,614 teachers trained only in 2011 in using ICT for teaching. This Redinet Rwanda Education uh, Research Network and ODN, we have 33,000 e-journals available for the National uh, Digital Library in Rwanda. Unfortunately, I've, say, I've seen that Elsevier is not uh, among them. Maybe it is a good opportunity for us to, uh, to have it. And I know that I'm published in one of the International Journal for Education Research, but we don't have uh, access to your journals. Uh, the fiber optic connecting all higher learning institutions, I said it. We have started also using teleconferencing system to teach from one, uni one campus to another campus, one university to other universities. Uh, E-learning program is ongoing. Of course, we need more uh, support in this area. That's why we'd be interested to talk with the <coughs> Blackboard to see how we can move forward. Another interesting project is the Carnegie Mellon University. This is a U.S. high learning institution with a history and excellence in higher, learning, in higher education and as a global leader in technology innovation. So they have started their campus in Rwanda starting from January this year. The time I'm, take, I'm talking, they are recruiting students. And by December, by uh, August, next the, this year they will build their in, in maybe in september their campus they have the land they have already started uh, this campus uh, which will provide stand, standard uh, teaching as they do in usa it is a, like a regional center for of excellence in ict related fields and it is supported by the African Development Bank. And as I said, uh, we have a 10 year uh, operating agreement signed with the uh, Kennedy Mellon University Peace, Petersburg uh, in September 2011. So we, really, I think it will support the region in terms of ICT. Some upcoming projects. We are planning to have the Rwanda International Conference on Technology in Education. Um, really we want to share knowledge. We can create knowledge in Africa in different and learn from international uh, expertise. How can we share this? This will happen. We are creating an ICT training research center to, in the Rwanda Education Board. That's where I am based. Rwanda Education Board is an implementing agency of the Ministry of Education. We have started an Education Technology Innovation and Development Award. We know that the teachers, the students can innovate, can do something big in their schools, but they need some support. It's a kind of motivating them. So we, 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 we are organizing this event every year <coughs> so that we distribute uh, like prizes for those who make a difference. In teaching, a teacher can make a difference. In the student, you are developing new uh, innovations, creating new and doing it. Uh, finally, we have created clubs, ICT clubs in schools. So kids really together who are very much interested in using ICT. They get together because we know that knowledge is not located in the hands of the teacher, is distributed, is created. They can develop knowledge in a group together when they are doing something uh, as a team. Thank you very much. <laughs>